I can't believe it's actually five and a half months that have passed and the genocide in Gaza is continuing unabated. Gaza is at the brink of destruction because for too long Western countries have refused to hold Israel to account for its crimes against the Palestinians. I believe the only way to bring Israel to the negotiating table to make them an economic and diplomatic Sorry, the only way to bring Israel to the negotiating table is to make them an econo economic and diplomatic pariah like apartheid South Africa did. We need to boycott, divest from and sanction the apartheid state of Israel to stop its genocide in Gaza. If Ireland doesn't take meaningful, practical action against Israel, then all the speeches and expressions of concern will be absolutely worthless. It was reported, and I just want to give you a couple of facts here. It was reported recently that Irish exports of dual-use items which have both military and civilian functions to Israel grew from 11 million euros to 70 million euros last year. It's absolutely obscene. It's obscene that we are exporting goods to Israel that can be used for military purposes as they commit genocide. And this has to stop. As Minister, as Minister for Transport, Eamon Ryan has the power to approve, to block these exports. It's given these companies a green light to trade with apartheid Israel. And I want to tell you that me and my Shannon colleagues in the Civil Engagement Group have introduced legislation that would forbid Ministers of Transport from approving exports of military or dual-use goods to Israel or to countries that send weapons to Israel. We need to pass the arms embargo bill so that our government can't make Ireland complicit in Israeli war crimes. I also want to say one other thing, and I'll try not to talk for too long, but illegal Israeli settlers have engaged in a coordinated campaign of violence against Palestinians in the West Bank. So I want to ask you, do you know that 4.2 million of Irish taxpayers' money is being funneled into companies that operate within illegal Israeli settlements in the occupied Palestinian territories? That's what our hard-earned taxes are going towards. The United Nations has compiled a database of such businesses highlighting the complicity in perpetuating the injustice against the Palestinian people. These settlements not only violate international law, but they also lead to the annexation of Palestinian territories, the dispossession of Palestinian lands and the relentless violence inflicted upon Palestinian communities. It is a stain on our collective conscience that the Irish Strategic Investment Fund holds investments in companies that support and expand these unlawful settlements as identified by Human Rights Watch. It's imperative, it's absolutely imperative that we, the Irish people, take a stand for human dignity and justice and the Irish state must divest from these companies immediately. We cannot turn a blind eye to the suffering and subjugation of Palestinian people any longer. And we must follow the example that was set by Norway's largest pension fund, which divested 23 million from companies operating in the illegal settlements. You know, do you know that last month 
the Attorney General gave a really powerful, our Attorney General gave a, a very powerful speech at the International Court of Justice outlining Ireland's position that Israel's occupation of the 1960, 1967 Palestinian territories is illegal. That's what he said. And he said in his speech he noted that the EU has imposed measures banning trade with the investment in Russian occupied Crimea since 2014. He also said that countries should not be trading with the illegal settlements because this was facilitating the continuation of illegal occupation. The gas thing is, the irony of that is that the government is hiding behind legal advice from the Attorney General's office to justify blocking the Occupied Territories Bill. And I they are not making decisions based on law or principles of the public's will. They are letting the genocide enabling regimes in Washington and Brussels make their decisions for them. I just want to very briefly talk about the upcoming Eurovision Song Contest. So I just want to say this. In 2022, the European Broadcasting Unit banned Russia from participating in Eurovision because of its evasion of Ukraine. In 2021, the EBU banned Belarus from the contest for because it would submitted two politicised songs. Israel is set to participate in this year's Eurovision despite its genocidal assault on Gaza and its ongoing occupation. It is yet another example of how rules are not applied to Israel. European political and cultural institution refuse to recognise that Palestinians matter just as much as any other people. Israel is blatantly starving two million people and they won't even block them from performing in the Eurovision. And I think we have to boycott the Eurovision if Israel is participating. We should refuse to participate. We should follow the example of the incredible Irish musicians who boycotted the South by Southwest Festival over its ties to the US military and weapons, manufacturing complicit in the Gaza genocide. And I have, we have to pay tribute to them all. So I just want to finish by saying, the genocide in Gaza exposes the brutality of the Israeli state, but it also reveals how hollow the hypocritical our own democracies are. Millions of people all over the world are rising up against the destruction in Gaza. In the US, the UK and Germany, the people are attract, attacked and repressed by a political class that is fanatically devoid, devoted to Zionism. In Ireland, we have more freedom. We can do more. Speeches and donations to UNRWA are empty gestures without sanctions and an arm, arms embargo. The time for empty rhetoric is over. We need to keep marching. We need to keep fighting for justice and for the freedom in Palestine. We need to build an Ireland 